The Adventure of the Barrel Coronet focuses on a case involving a stolen precious barrel coronet. The client, Mr. Alexander Holder, is an impoverished squire who desperately needs money to pay off his debts. He comes to Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson to report the theft of a coronet, which he had been entrusted to safekeep for the wealthy and proud banker, Mr. John Foreman. The coronet had been stolen from Mr. Holder's safe. According to Holder, only he and one other person knew the combination to the safe, his son, Arthur, who had recently been discharged from the army. Though it could be easily assumed that the boy was behind the theft, investigations reveal that the coronet had been taken from the safe and handled by someone else. Holmes and Watson then begin to look for possible suspects so as to track down the coronet. Holmes uses all his skills and knowledge to deduce a suspect, Neville St. Clair, a man who is often seen around the area. St. Clair had gone missing, and Holmes suspects he is behind the theft. Holmes sends Watson to London while Holmes himself goes to a lodging house to find St. Clair. At the lodging house, Holmes finds out that St. Clair had been kept in captivity. Holmes releases St. Clair and finds out that St. Clair was being blackmailed by a gang in order to obtain a ransom. The gang had mistakenly thought that St. Clair was wealthy as he often dressed in a fine attire. The investigation leads Holmes to John Horner, a plasterer with a criminal record who is staying at the same lodging house. Holmes finds out that Horner had been the one to steal the coronet and it was in the hands of the gang. They had taken the coronet and hidden it in a pawn shop. Holmes apprehends Horner and retrieves the coronet. In the end, everyone is cleared of the crime and the coronet is returned to Mr. Foreman, 